In their video, we're gonna start something different. We're gonna do some player locks, but NBA style. So, what I'm gonna do is four minute quarters. I turned off fatigue, and then, yeah, so you can controller settings, go which position you want. Like I said, make sure you have no substitutions on, no fatigue, lower the quarters a little bit, and boom, yeah, we're gonna be doing. Uh, arguably, in my opinion, he's the best player of all time, Michael Jordan. Hi, and thanks for joining us on 2K Sports NBA. Oh, and you want to do the on-court uh, camera angle too? So, like, yeah, a closer view, you can get like view your player more. Uh, who's on me? That's it. Yeah, it's yeah, gonna be a little like different than like I know MLB player locks. Those are pretty popular, but I don't really see anyone doing player locks in the NBA, you know, like, like just current players, classic players. That's thing about like 2K too, you can do like classic, a lot of current, a lot of all-time teams too. I just want to see more like, oh, oh okay. Ah, bad release, fuck. I mean, Jordan looks pretty good, dude. I mean, obviously, he's already, every year they always look and make him look really good. But especially this year, he's one of, like, the the big version, like, cover athlete. And he has his own mode. Obviously, I mean, he's, like, one, arguably the GOAT. One of the best athletes ever. That's him. Oh, what? Jordan's gone. One for three from the field. Yeah, like I said, we're gonna be doing four minute quarters, so like we'll get like sixteen minutes play. I don't wanna make the videos too long. I like how they got him a wide open look in space there. It's good. Really crap. I'm gonna have my stats up here for you guys. So he gave it away. But yeah, we're facing Supersonics, nineteen sixty-eight. Uh is both versions of teams. So yeah, they got Gary Payton. I don't know. I think he's guarding me. Is that him? Oh, I kind of stole that shot from him. Let's go, Jordan. Oh, I wish I could see my guy. Man. That's what sucks. Like he has the ball right now. I can't see it. No good there. Now Chicago takes it the other way. I can get a dunk here, I'd be sick. There's a minute 34 left in the first quarter of the game. Ooh. Jordan, with a steal. What? I, I got Gary Payton on my ass, bro. I mean, like, that's one of the best fucking perimeter defenders of all time, dude. We still gonna bust his ass, though. That's my goal. There's a screen. 13 feet out. And he hits the jumper. He's got five. Gary Payton. Yeah, we still gotta bust his ass, but yeah, like I said, I got the best score of all time, man. Come on now. Greatest dynasty ever. Problem is, he's like really like. Damn! Sean Kemp just blocked the shit out of me. 50 seconds left in the first quarter. Shot clock at five. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to drive in that much. From deep, Jordan. It's rebounded by Shrimp. It's a difficult this game. Oh, okay. And it's the Supersonics with the ball. I guess they're playing on a four-minute quarter, so my stats look lower. There's a screen. Just you know why. Nails it from three. And we losing now. All right. I like whenever he looks to expand his range some though. Jordan with it. All right, come on now. Why did I just pick Gary Payton? Have a finger. With some arc, oh. and it's good there on go. the layup. Such a graceful move, showing off the floater game. So yeah, my goal is to have, just play good with them, and then yeah, get the W. Now here's Payton. Tight defense on oh, him. Good defense. Jordan high post. Off screen. Hey. Jordan's got nine points. Boy, you take a look at that jump shot of Jordan's effortless. Not bad for a score. And it's mechanics. 
and still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Yeah, I guess Washington's well, calmed down any plays you want me to do because honestly, there's so many players you can do on this. So like, I might do a few for this game and then wait for next year's game because I don't know. And before we move on, what do you think about what we've seen here from the Bulls tonight? Well, they've used the like who knows, maybe Kobe Bryant might have a and keep the defense He might make a and, you know, 2010 guys, Lakers team or so. I might do him next year. So they have, as as they have him as a cover out there so for 2K24. I think you got it. It's a three-point game. Pass to Jordan. You know, Jordan, you just got to ask for that ball the whole time. With the fade away. Ah, I just gotta get the put back. Down. Great position. Oh, Rob, let's see. Back. Well, we've seen Rodman do that often. Going up, getting Oh, well, you guys, I watched the last dance like three years ago during exactly quarantine. That was a good documentary. I cannot wait until they make like a Kobe and LeBron one. Cause I, I grew up watching those two players. You know, I still respect Jordan. I know a lot of the younger generation don't like Jordan. Cause they grew up watching Kobe Bryant, Steph Curry, like LeBron. They don't want to respect the old age. I did not watch Jordan, but I know I've seen. I watched a ton of highlights, games of him, a lot of documentaries. It's like I know how he is, man. That's why I say he's one of the best ever. Like I said, I grew up watching Kobe, LeBron, but I still respect Jordan. I still think he's the best. So. Ooh, good to cut. In the dunk. Let's go. Hey, when Jordan is cutting to the cup, he's like I said, this is 32. This is 32 year old version of Jordan, though. I'm gonna be honest, dude. If the if Jordan didn't take those two years off, he played 15 seasons. But the thing is, he took those two years off in 93, 94, 95. He took those two seasons off, and then 1999. I think, yeah, it was like. It was 1999, 2000, 2001, or something. He, like, took time off. Like, after the 98 finals, he, like, took two or three years off. So, if you think about it, dude, because Jordan easily could have, he could easily had, like, 20 seasons in his career. He never would have took any, like, those breaks. Jordan can probably have, like, seven or eight rings if he didn't. If he would have played five more years, bro. If Jordan would have had five more years in his career, bro, he would have probably had eight or seven rings. And he probably would have had, like, the most points ever. I'm just being honest. Dude, that dude scored 32k points in 15 seasons. Like, you just gotta think about it. If he played five more, he probably would have, like, 39, 38. Where LeBron's at right now. I don't know. That's what makes me wonder. Like, if he would have had this 20 years and he would have 20 seasons, I guarantee he'd be close to 40k points. So far, we have that 10. We got 15 now. Second quarter play, almost three minutes gone here. And there's the screen. I wish you my teammates more. That three's off the mark. Nah, this is a play lot, bro. I'm trying to score everything. Now here's Jordan. Tightly oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is what I want. This is what I want. Down low. Oh, they're double teaming me now. Again, the oh, no. He's got a big body. We know that. But Longley has an underrated skill set, too. Pass to Shrimp. 50 seconds left in the half. I think I might do like Kareem Abdul Jabbar soon. Here's Kemp. Probably do like a flashback. Three, like I might do like a Miami Heat version of LeBron. Uh, and Kobe like Bryant, defense. like the number 24 version. Yeah, there's just, just like, there's some few players I want to try right now. I think I'll probably do like some of the best ever, like LeBron, Kobe, Kareem, uh, like guys like Tim, Dirk, Mac Johnson, Larry Bird, Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah, I don't want to forget about the way. Well, Chamberlain. Man, holy shit, that guy was awesome.
Oh, you got Gary Payton on my ass. I'm still gonna bust his ass. What Jordan would say. Grace turned it on him. Still gonna give him 30. They've done well to disrupt the opposition, playing inspired defense. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. Half, baby. Too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten All up me. here in the second. Here's Seattle. All right, I got 17 12. points with him. I'm really tired. Uh. Back to Peyton. Just five to shoot. Peyton doesn't mind a little contact now. Seems to embrace it. When he's going in for a shot. First free throw is good. Second free throw, no good. So on the floor for Seattle. Jordan up top. He's got 17. You know, there's so much that's amazing to me about Jordan, but his endurance stands out. He consistently gets stronger, it seems, as the game goes on. First one falls for him. And both free throws good for Jordan. Here's Peyton. He's got nine. From 11 feet away... And he throws it down. What a terrific lead pass. Sean Kemp was a bucket. Gary Payton run the offense. He's a pass first point guard for sure. Puts it up from 17. And the jumper is on the mark. Jordan's got four points in the quarter. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play. That's what I hate about it. You can't see who has a ball, bro. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. It's tough to get open in this league, and when you do... I'm gonna try to change the camera, though. Oh, that's yeah, much better. All right. All right. I actually see more. Right around a minute and a half played in the third quarter. And down. down it goes. Two points. Jordan's got 23. Another big night for Jordan. What a natural score he is. MJ simply can do it all. Here's Peyton. To the inside. Pass to Kemp. Here's Hawkins. No good with the triple. Yeah, I mean, he usually makes you pay from that range. All right, Pivot, I see you. And the Bulls lead by 17. Well, I tell you, Pippen's length helps him close to the rim. Uses that length to score through contact. Timeout called the Supersonics. Here's Peyton. Nine points in the game. Over to the left wing. Here's Brakowski. Pass to Askew. Harper pulls it in. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. Well, I know he's frustrated. How did I miss that? A minute 31 left to play in the third. Here's Hawkins. Yep, that one goes. And the defense no factor. 
which is why he simply laid it in. But Grant, it's obvious who's been in control of this game. You know, I almost went out of bounds. I'm be honest. Here's Jordan. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line. Gotta foul me. Hard not to respect how tough Jordan is inside. Really good at angling his body to pick up the foul call. And both free throws good for Jordan. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Here's McMillan. That one is off. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Jordan with it. He's got 25. Ooh, good fucking move. He's not got stuff. Fucking Rodman. What a beast. I'm getting triple team, bro. Amy Green's. Let's go. A decent three point shooter. I like Harper testing his range right there. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Fires from deep. The shot won't fall. It's clear he's totally out of sync. The team needs to rethink its strategy around what to do uh. with him. Peyton against Jordan. Banked it in off the glass. Jordan's got 10 points in just the second half. Yeah, we didn't solve this game. Wicked dribble move that time by Jordan. Threw his defender off and got the space he needed to fire. Here's Peyton. And three quarters of play in the books. This one's all but over already. Bulls out in front, delivering the blowout. And, and it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. Woo, I'm fired up to see this dish one more time. It's always great to see your two guards share the wealth. Yeah, platinum level dime dropping there, fellas. Accurate and on time. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. They set the screen. From deep, Jordan. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. They've been very well-rounded. And extremely focused. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. So on the floor for Seattle. Pass to Kemp. 11 feet out. Rodman with a rebound. Boy, you've really got to put those away, especially against soft interior defense. Here's Jordan. Two guys are on me. I'm still scoring. Lays it up and banks it in. Jordan's got five points in the quarter. Really strong to the bucket there. They're draped all over him, and he still gets it done. Here's McMillan. Inside, deflects the pass. Clock at six. To the wing on the left. Askew. Off target from three point range. One side is dominated tonight. Yeah, they've done a fantastic job of imposing their pace and style of play. It's an even three-on-three -three break. Here's McMillan. It's hauled in by the Bulls. And just about a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. Here's Jordan. Oh, that's clean. Chicago again with a bucket. And it only makes sense to give him the rock again. He put the team on his back all game. And no let up in him either, guys. I mean, he wants to continue to expand that lead. And as long as he's the one taking the shots, that lead's going to expand. One fifty-six left in the fourth quarter. And the now he is on fire. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for the Bulls? 
I like the fact that they've been very aggressive at the defensive end. Tenacious. They're jumping passing lanes and coming away with a lot of steals. They've also been showing a standout play on the fast break, working as a team to create easy opportunities. Now here's Jordan. He's covered closely. Fades and shoots. That's clean. No luck on that one. Oh. The Supersonics go the other way with it. Here's Harper. Again, the full score. Well, I think he shot the ball well, guys, but I don't think he shot it enough. The more shots he gets from here on out, the more they'll stretch out this lead. Here's Askew to the middle. Shot to end the cold streak. Pass to Hawkins. Fires the three. Drops in the three. Hawkins has such an uncanny ability to score. Had to get rid of it quickly, and he did. Now here's Jordan. To the left side wing. Here's Pippen. And again, it's Chicago with a three. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. Camp good. It's nice they found their rhythm here, but the clock is just not their friend. Now they're playing with urgency, huh? They could have done it much earlier before the game was out of reach. Pass to Pippen. Count that one. From any spot yeah, on the Pippen was a monster. Tight, Pippen can hurt you. And it's the Supersonics with the ball. Here's Askew. Here's McMillan. Here's Perkins. Here's Hawkins. Drains it from nine feet away. You have to love the unsafe. Alright, first game was good. Really efficient game by Jordan. Uh, if you guys want more, like, subscribe, and let me know what players you guys want me to see.